Aboriginal TV Channel 4 celebrates National Reconciliation Week. Recognising our shared histories, cultures and achievements. When you acknowledge us as Aboriginal people, you don't lose your 230 years of history, you gain 50,000 years of history. Reconciliation. Both councils are able to look at the sky and you know, read the sky. And when you think about both histories and juggler, like we both we both fight for land rights. Um, you know, we both want to maintain that culture. This is the land of the Larrakia, my people. This is essentially the Darwin region. I've always had a special spiritual connection to this land, even if I didn't, even if I didn't grow up here, I thought this is where I belong. Being an islander, being next to the salt water is probably the most, is the most calming feeling for me and uh, puts me at ease and makes me self-reflect and think about how to best go through all my problems and deal with everything. The cultural significance of this Macquarie River is our people, the Wadri people, we weren't far from it. So all our camps along here, we're, we're in walking distance of the water. So you get all your animals come and drink here. So you got your, your hunting ground, then you got your, your life, your water, your drinking water. The Roebuck Bay is actually quite significant to our family. The father actually dreams the conception of his own child. So my mother's totem rye dreaming is that my grandfather was walking along the beach and came across a big baler shell that was on the beach and he tapped the, the shell with a spear and out came a baby's foot out of the shell. And it's really interesting that um, when you look at my mum's foot, she's actually got a birthmark there of where that spear tapped the foot. Gabinu. Gabinu. We might go away from our country but the flame's always burning to go back and to reconnect. The neighbouring town Portland, where a lot of my family had lived and live now, there was a job going to Australian Greens Corp and I ended up getting the job and that was a really Another amazing experience looking after the land on that land management side of things. Being back on the, the land that I come from and knowing the power that it gave me, the only way I can kind of put it back is if you ever go to a place where you just feel like you know yourself and, it knows, and this place knows you and it's okay and you don't have to worry or, or feel threatened. It is important for Aboriginal people to connect to country. It's where we find our strength. Uh, it's, where we, it's where we can revitalise ourselves. Um, so we can go back to the cities and the towns 
and do what we need to do with, with, with energy and vitality. When you're in the Torres Strait, you practice your culture. And then when you fly down here for education, you have you live in that Western society now. You know, just being in the Torres Strait is a much more calm environment. And coming to an environment down here where it's a lot faster, you have to be on the ball, you have to make sure that you move on time. We haven't got a whole lot of uh, engineers or structures around the island to keep the island safe from that rising tide. Graves are going underwater, history is being lost, and that's motivated me now to do my civil engineering degree. I want to make a difference and help my people gain knowledge of engineering and investing that same knowledge back into our culture. Aboriginal TV Channel 4, celebrating National Reconciliation Week.